Okay, guys, we've got an HP All in One 19 3013 W. Um, and of course, that's going to be in the description. But all it, all it shows on the front of the case is HP 19. Um, we're going to take these bottom screws out. Okay, so you could hear the plastic popping from just turning those screws a little. All you do is rotate them a little. You don't take them out, but those are the only screws besides the tabs that are holding the back of the case on. Then you just pry up the back, and it'll just pop off. There's no cables. There's no anything like that that you have to be worried about. I'm just going to set it off to the side. Now we're going to take the hard drive cage, uh, we're going to take the screw out that holds it in. And again, it's it's not going to screw off completely, it's just going to loosen up enough so that the cage can be removed. Now all we got to do is take out the four screws that are holding the hard drive into the cage. These will come completely off. Okay, so... Now that we've got the screws out, we've just got to pull the hard drive out of the cage, which is easy enough. Now, what I'm replacing it with is an SSD, which of course is going to be a lot smaller. And so the uh, usual the screw holes and everything aren't going to be used because they won't fit this. Um, but just the way this cage is and the way it has to sit. So what I'm going to do is take some um, double-sided uh, Gorilla mounting tape. Um, I think this tape was, I can't remember if it was 7 pounds or like 15 pounds or something like that. Um, rated for weight. Uh, not pounds as in the price, but pounds is how much... The, uh, the tape can hold up. Um, it's really great tape. And once it actually gets settled, like you can work with it for a little bit. But once it's actually attached and it it sticks, it it's hard to peel up. Um, so anything you use it on pretty much stays in place. Since the, hard, since the SSD doesn't really... Uh, put off any heat and it doesn't have any moving parts or anything. It's just it's a perfect solution for it So I put I put it in there first so that I can make sure it's plugged in all the way And now I'm going to put slide the cage back into place Because there's just a little itty bitty gap right there where it's not touching So I'm just going to use my screwdriver to put pressure on the bottom and then hold down on the top and you want to hold it there for a little while just to make sure that it gets a good connection. And it's not bending anything because it's it's literally just sitting right there on it. I'm just pushing on it just to make sure it gets a good connection. Because I don't want it slipping and sliding anywhere. Okay. So now that that's on there... I just gotta tighten down the hard drive cage screw and then I'm gonna start putting the back of the case back on now when I start doing that you have to you ha it actually took a little while the first time that I put it back on there um, the tops 
uh, you have to work with a bit to get all the tabs lined up just right so that it the case will sit flush together um, I left the audio in so you can hear the popping of the tabs going back in so you just have to work with that a bit and make sure everything's lined up right so there's no gaps once that's flush you can start pushing around the case and popping all the tabs back in once you think once you think you've got all the tabs back in just pick it up and look around the edges to make sure there's no gaps and then you're good to go thanks for watching guys